welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be showing you guys how I created this look right here. It's kind of a jumping into fall type of look. Not too, too much, but a little bit. For this video, I actually partnered up with Sephora, which is an amazing opportunity. I feel like, wow, I've really accomplished something. Like, I'm working with Sephora. So today I'm going to be showing you some of the products that they sent me for this video. They're actually having a campaign going on right now, and it is hashtag Lux at Sephora. So that is why I'm doing this video today, to show you some of their luxury products that I am obsessing over, that I actually use on a daily basis. All of the products that I use in this video, I'm giving you my honest opinion. Even though this is a sponsored video, I still give you my honest opinions and I would not put something up here if I would not use it on a daily basis or if I wouldn't go out and purchase it with my own money. Like I said, these products are definitely luxurious and they are more on the pricey side, but sometimes it's okay to splurge and, you know, sometimes splurging just really makes you feel like like just really makes you feel like you are doing something like you are just walking around looking like a bag of money and me personally when I use luxury products they really just make me feel like luxury and just really make me feel good they make me feel like especially all right so this is how they make me feel it makes me feel like okay I went out and spent my money on these products they were more on the pricey side and for my makeup to come out good for my makeup to last I feel like it's definitely worth the money. So spending money on luxury products and wanting to just have that luxury feel of confidence. These products that I'm going to show you are definitely something I would invest in if I were you and I'm giving you my opinion if you would like to invest into these products. So here are some of the products that I'm going to be showing you guys in my tutorial. I don't want to, really want to give it away right now. I want you guys to see how I use them and my opinions on them. Every single product that is that I used on this tutorial you can get at Sephora. So the link will be down below for you guys to check out any products that you liked on this tutorial. But other than that, I don't want to keep rambling too much. If you would like to see how I created this look. Keep on watching. Okay, so first I'm going to be showing you guys a little bit of my skincare before I start applying my makeup. And I'm taking this facial treatment essence, which is perfect for before putting on your moisturizers. It's great for skin balancing and things like that. And I'm just taking a little bit of this on the back of my cotton round and I'm just going to be applying that all over my skin. And some more benefits of the essence. It just gives you a brighter glow. It prevents dark spots, um, helps with wrinkles, and also smooths out texture if you have any. And it just really supplements the skin and gets the firmness and hydration before you apply all your moisturizers and things like that. So next I'm going to be going in with the Tata Harper Hydrating Floral Essence Serum. That really just hydrates your skin, refreshes it, and gives you the boost of a glowy appearance to the skin and it targets dry skin, rough skin, and fine lines and wrinkles, things like that. And I just love serums and products like this. And as you guys can see, my skin is glowing and ready for So we need to go ahead and start prepping the skin and getting the primers in and things like that. So for today's primers, I'm going to be using two. First, I'm going to be going in with this Aura Mercier Foundation Primer. This is an oil-free gel base primer. And since I already did my skincare, as you guys saw before this portion, I'm getting my forehead, <laughs> before this portion, that also is going to help with how flawless and smooth my foundation will look at the very end. Next, I'm going to be going in with this Tatcha Silk Canvas Primer. I haven't used this in a while, so I was like, why not give it another go around since I haven't used it in a while. Alright, so my primer is on. Now I'm going to be going in with my Tatcha Luminous Silk Dewy Skin Mist. And I really just like this. I really like to go in with this Tatcha Skin Mist. Um, before matte foundations especially. Also with dewy foundations as well. Just because it really gives you that nice dewy look and it really just gives your skin hydration so for today's foundation i'm going to be taking the nars longwear radiant foundation and i'm going to be going in with tahoe and barcelona um i'm mixing the two just because i don't know i feel like it to be honest i mean tahoe works perfectly fine so i just went in with tahoe now i'm going to go in with barcelona 
and I think Tahoe is my darkest um, foundation. So clean, damp beauty blender to go ahead and blend in this foundation. So now that my foundation is on, I'm going to go ahead and go in with concealer and I'm going to be going in with this new Cover FX concealer and I am in this shade G Medium 1 and I'm just going to go ahead and conceal with this one. Alright, so I went ahead and let it dry a little bit, so I'm going to be taking my Damp Beauty Blender again to go ahead and blend in the concealer. Alright, so my concealer is now on. I'm going to go ahead and do my brows off camera just to save some time on this video because I don't want it to be super long, but I do have me doing my eyebrows in my last tutorial that I posted so I will leave that link down in the description for you and also you'll be able to click it at the end of this video so I'm gonna go jump and do these off camera and then I'll be right back to finish the rest of the face I went ahead and put my cream contour on because I thought I was filming but I didn't press record I went ahead and took this foundation and concealer stick from Sephora this is the makeup no mistake and this is in the shade walnut and this is the shade that I'm going to be cream contouring with And I really like this foundation stick actually. This is my first time using this foundation stick and it blends out pretty good. I'm liking the color of it. I don't have my hair bent on today so my hair is going a little wild. So now I need to go ahead and set my face. So I'm going to be setting my face with this Hourglass Veal Translucent Setting Powder. And this is not a matte translucent setting powder. So if you want more of a matte finish, this one probably won't be your best bet because it gives you more of that set of skin like with it kind of being luminous, but yet making your skin look super airbrushed. I've really been liking this powder. I like the color of it. Um, so, what you want to make sure though, you want to make sure you go ahead and go back in with your beauty blender and make sure you get out all of the creasing. Alright, so now I'm just going to dip into my setting powder with my damp beauty blender. Since this isn't a matte powder, I like to go in a little bit extra just so I know my makeup is going to really set and since this is more of a luminous type of setting powder I like to bake just a little bit with my with my other setting powders I don't really like to bake because I don't want it to look super dry but since this one is more of a luminous one I want it to last as long as possible on my skin so that's why I like to bake with this one but it's been on there long enough, so now I am just taking my beauty blender and really just pressing the powder into my skin. Alright, so now that my face is set, I'm going to be going in with a pressed bronzer and a powdered pressed bronzer. And I'm going to be going in with the Becca Sunlit Bronzer. And this is in the shade Ipanema Sun. I think that's how you say it. So now I need to go in with blush and I'm going to be taking this Sephora palette right here and this is a blush palette and I literally only use one shade out of this palette and it is this peachy coral color right here. If you guys have been following me for a while you guys know I was obsessed with this palette at one time, still am, but I like to switch it up sometimes. And I just love this one because it just is... The color is beautiful, it's not too much, and it gives me that glowy to the skin. 
Now I'm going to be going back in with the Hourglass Veal Translucent Powder to go ahead and chisel up these cheekbones and clean this up. And I am just taking my Beauty Blender to do that. All right, so now I need to go ahead and set in all of the products that I have put on my face, and I'm going to be using my Too Faced Hangover 3-in-1 Replenishing Primer and Setting Spray. So now I can move on to eyes, and for eyes, I'm going to be using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Soft Glam Palette. And the first shade that I'm going to be going in with is the shade Burnt Orange right here. So I went ahead and went in with burnt orange on this eye. So now I'm going to be taking cream soda, the shade right here. All right, so now that cream soda is now on my lid, I'm going to go back in with burnt orange right on the outer edge and then also just going to blend in everything up here at the top without getting too much on the orange soda shade all right so I'm not finished with this eye because I do want to do the bottom lash line and add some color down there as well but I'm just gonna go do this eye off camera to save some time and then we'll finish the rest of the look now both eyes are done. Now I'm going back in with this palette and I'm going to be going in with this shade right here and that is in the shade Rustic. And I am just taking that shade on my lower lash line. Now for lashes, I am going to go in with the Hourglass Caution Mascara. For falsies, I'm not sure which lashes I want to go in with. I'm not sure if I want to go in with my Lily Lashes in the style Mykonos or I want to go in with my Lily Lashes in the style Miami. I've been wearing Mykonos non-stop, literally. Every day I put on makeup, I wear my Mykonos lashes by Lily Lashes. So I might try my Miami tonight, so we'll see. Alright, so I went ahead and put on the Miami lashes just because I always go in with the same lashes. So I was like, let me go ahead and switch it up a bit because I just always go in with those lashes. So I went in with the Lily Lashes in the style Miami. So now I am going to be taking the Soft Glam palette one more time and I'm going to be going in with the shade Bronze, this shimmer shade right here. And I'm going to take that on the inner corner of my eyes just a little bit so the eyes are now done now I am going to go ahead and take this makeup wipe that I have been using throughout the tutorial to kind of wipe things off and go ahead and take this product off my lips alright so I'm going to go in with the hangover spray one more time before I apply my highlight Alright, so for today's highlight, I'm going to be going in with the Becca highlighter in the shade Champagne Pop. Such a beautiful highlighter. I haven't used this highlight in such a long time. Now on to lips, I am going to be taking this Givenchy lipstick, matte lipstick in the shade Nude Weed. And this is what the application form looks like. So you just twist it up and, and then the lip color comes out. I really just love the application of this lipstick because it really just is soft on the lip and it gives you that perfect coverage. And I like how it's like pointed because you can just easily follow the shape of your lips. 
definitely one of my favorite nude lipsticks for sure so I need to go ahead and go wash my hands and comb out my hair a little bit just so I can you know look a little more decent so give me a second all right you guys so I went ahead and got my shirt on to get ready to go so I do want to show you guys one of the last steps something that I haven't done on my channel before just something I normally would do off camera before I go out so what I'm actually going to be doing is taking this Tom Ford ombre leather perfume that was sent to me from Sephora and I actually really like the smell of this perfume. The smell of this perfume is a very warm, spicy scent that is very potent and also very long lasting. And I'm just going to take up like one, two good sprays because this is a very strong perfume. So I am really loving this Tom Ford perfume. It smells amazing and I just love the packaging of this too. It's like matte black and I'm just in love. This is my final look. It is kind of a jumping into fall kind of look, I feel like. Um, I did use a couple of new products in this video. All of the products were definitely on the more luxury side. And from the title of this video, this is a luxury get ready with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I do want to say thank you to Sephora for sponsoring this video again. It just is an amazing opportunity for me to be able to work with them and be able to use these products to create this look. So I really hope you guys enjoyed it. I will list all of the products down in the description below and also the products that I used today that were sent to me from Sephora for this video down in the description below. So you can check them out at the Sephora website. But other than that, thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you are new or you just haven't subscribed but you've been watching me and just haven't subscribed yet. Make sure you subscribe. Other than that, I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.